What's going on everyone? It's Rando. I'm back with another one real quick. I want to kind of show you this. So found this at PSA. Uh, it's a PA 15 complete lower. Got it on sale. I bought it. It was shipped to my local FFL, transferred it into my name legally. So it's now my firearm to do with what I want. And I uh, just kind of wanted to unbox it and show you what you're getting whenever you order something from PSA, like a complete lower. Um, figured I would use this as far as doing like my own version of a budget build or assembly of a firearm to make my own rifle over just my initial impressions of it, what I think, and overall quality control. So let's uh, take a closer look. All right, so here's an up close look. As you can see, just a box, but this is how it's coming to you. You open it up. Oh, you got your sticker. Can't go wrong with a sticker. And then you have your complete lower here. Now this is the Magpul you know, MOE and FDE, which is what I wanted. You got to get your, maybe your quality control stuff on here, which will take off. Fully adjustable, which is nice. Uh, looking at it though, it kind of looks like a bunch of like, maybe like, like kind of like, you know, if you have white out and you scrape it off, it's kind of everywhere inside there. If any of you know what that is, let me know. I'm not going to lie. I'm not like a, a pro at this as far as understanding, but it, there's kind of on some things. I'm sure it'll wipe off as far as cleaning it up goes, but definitely a lot of it. Now, it, this is their, you know, obviously complete for an AR-15. Um, this is 7075 forged aluminum. This is like their stamped one. Now, I know they have a stealth one that has like no markings on it whatsoever. Obviously, safe and fire. It's not ambi, so I definitely will be getting an ambi safety here. And I'm actually probably gonna get an ambi mag release as well. Well, let's get these little things off here and just kind of see what the trigger pull is on it. Overall though, you know, quality and just looking at it, it doesn't look bad, except for this white stuff that's everywhere. But like I said, you always got to clean your firearms and, you know, lubricate them well before you actually get out to the range anyway. The stock and everything, I mean, it's Magpul, so it's coming from them. Overall quality and stuff, everything like I would expect it to being from them. And works as it should. So... I'm gonna get these off. Let's mount it up to an upper and just take a look. But all the controls and everything, uh, obviously I do believe will be working absolutely well. Things off here, as far as the zip ties go, uh, looks like the castle nut staked in two places, obviously very well. I mean, overall build quality, I mean, I think they did a great job. You know, you're getting a complete lower here. I believe that they're, you know, pretty cost effective and affordable as far as just getting them and having one ready to go for you. So let's mount it to an upper though. Let's check that trigger pull on this. I'm sure it's not going to be the lightest trigger pull in the world because this is not their trigger that has like all of the parts and everything polished on it. It's just regular parts kit from PSA. I'm sure that they use to assemble this. So let's go ahead and throw it on and see what it feels like. All right, so I got this mounted to a Bear Creek Arsenal upper. Plan on using this as my budget build here. So I think it'll work out pretty well though. Obviously nothing in it, not even a magazine. Let's go ahead and put it on fire. Let's see what we're getting as far as trigger pull goes. So what's your guess as far as trigger pull? All right, we're about six and a half pounds on that one. Let's do another one just for, you know, science. And we're kind of just a little over six and a half. So I'm going to correlate it with about a six and a half pound trigger pull, which, you know, I guess realistically on pretty much everything being factory is not bad. So we'll get it to the range here next. Whenever I do a full review of this firearm, but yeah, I mean, not too bad for, you know, for a PSA lower here. Cost effective and it's really getting you into the game, uh, you know, without having to break the bank here. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you, like, you know, my initial impressions of opening this up, really seeing what it looked like whenever you open the box itself, overall quality control. If it looks like it's really clean, obviously I recommend cleaning any firearm before you actually take it out to the range anyway. Uh, cleaning and then lubricating properly. And so obviously you saw that I had it mounted up to a Bear Creek upper. That's kind of like my own little budget build that I'm working on right now. I'm going to throw a scope on there and get it out to the range and we'll go over that here at a later time. But overall, the, the lower, you know, it'll work pretty cool. Uh, 
trigger pull on it's pretty heavy um it's mil spec at least it looks to me i know psa creates a version of their lowers that like everything is kind of polished on it uh saying that it has like a better trigger this is just seeming like their own parts kit uh probably like mil spec i guess you could say but definitely needs some work as far as the trigger pull now for me it is what it is it's a trigger i'm probably gonna mess with some things and maybe upgrade that maybe with the psa drop-in one but ultimately overall for what you're getting not bad and thanks for sticking along for me to review this a little bit with you. And as always, be safe, be kind. God bless everyone out there. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.